America is great thanks in large part to our great soldiers, both past and present. In the Pacific, uh, mostly in the Philippines. Uh, we landed there and uh, in fact, we didn't know for sure where we were going until about uh, two hours out of port. And then we knew where we were when the Japs started strafing us. And I fell, even though I was in the Army, I fell in love with the Navy because they had anti-aircraft fire and they started shooting Japanese uh, fighter planes out of the air and I knew I was in good hands. As we look back through the pages of American history, we see the story told over and over again. It's a story of men and women who stood strong in the face of adversity. It's a story of a resilient people who fought evil in every corner of the globe so that their fellow man might live in peace and freedom. I'm really excited that we have a chance to uh, honor the veterans and the, all the things that they have done for us in the past. It was a real honor for me earlier this year to ho host many of our veterans in Montgomery at the first ever Veterans Day at the Capitol. It was a day to honor their sacrifices and also to celebrate the passage of some important bills that impacted veterans and their families. These bills expanded the education benefits for children and spouses of those killed, disabled, or missing in action in the line of duties. They exempted the retired U.S. Armed Forces and Reserve personnel from license taxes and registration fees. They streamlined the payment process for residents in our state's veterans' nursing homes, allowed spouses of retired military personnel or reservists to receive the distinctive tag. These bills also authorized the display of the POWMIA flags at state buildings, parks, and our rest areas. They created a, we created a new car tag for veterans of Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom Afghanistan. These bills were the Alabama legislature's contributions to our great veterans, and I'm proud that you allow me to serve in a capacity that allows me to have an impact that's positive on our service men and women. Well, it's going to impact almost every veteran in the county. Um, uh, to be able to get car tags that identify their, their type of service, to, uh, even to the education benefits that we're going to give to uh, dependents and uh, expand the uh, number of semester hours they'll be able to have. So I'm excited about it. It was a great day. And the, uh, the shooting that we just had in Fort Hood, Texas, pointed out even more that our veterans uh, serve us well and they're always in harm's way. Great day to be here. Uh, a number of World War II veterans are here, a number of Vietnam and various other conflicts. This was a great day for us to pay our deepest respects and regards to those people who defended our country.